is Solar. She's one month old, and this is the bird that was hatched using human warmth. That's right. I held the egg. Uh, my, my pigeon Remy sat on it too. She did most of the work, but I held it, you know, two hours a day, three hours a day. The most I ever held it was probably five hours a day. She's awesome and she's awesomely friendly. This is Honest Cut Truth. She's a lot like Remy. She flies to me. She just flies to me. You know, I'll be, I'll sit down in the chair. She just flew to me. She was on the ground. She flew up. There's also a table over there. She's on the table. She'll fly over and go to my shoulder. She's freaking awesome. She's just like, she's just like Remy. You know, she's very friendly. She's, she's one of the friendliest birds I've ever known. She likes me, you know. Is it because I, I sang lullabies to her when she when, I, when we were incubating her egg and I was holding it? Maybe. That's what you're supposed to do with a human child is sing to it when it's in, the, in its mother's tummy. Well, I did the same thing with Solar. I didn't do lullabies. Uh, Solar likes the sex pistols and shit like that. You know, she likes ACDC. She's she's into music. She's into my voice too. She's in she's in there's 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 mom. Remy just came over. Two very friendly birds. Both of them are great, and I'm gonna be straight up with you here. It's sort of a um unhealthy, <laughs> it's unhealthy my relationship with them, meaning I worry about them constantly. I do, I worry about them. Like if I think about like something, I just I freak out. If, if I'm away from them for a long time, like a, a bunch of hours or something, I start worrying about them. Is that healthy? I don't know. It sort of sucks, but I do. I care a great deal about both of them. I care about all my, all my pets. But Remy? Remy, I, I fed, she must have been 10 weeks old. I'm not 10 weeks, 10 days old. And Solar... I fed her too, but I, I held her, I held her egg. I held her when she was, you know, in her, in the egg. So I, I bonded to her even before she, before she was born. Here, check out Solar. This is like Solar a day old. Check this out. There's the baby. Look at that. You could, she could fit in a spoon. That's how small she is. She could fit in a spoon. She's poked, so she's eating. That's awesome. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's fucking crazy how small... And in 30 days, she's all feathered and can fly. Now, she'd probably still be in the nest if she was like a wild pigeon. But I had her eating seed early, you know? We, I taught her how to drink water and everything. She was bathing earlier than, you know, but the, she's doing great. She, she's, she's freaking awesome. She's beautiful. In the sunlight, she has all this like pink and stuff. She's really pretty, isn't she, Rem? Remy agrees. Me and Remy's baby. That's right. Is it, is it an unhealthy relationship? No, it's not really unhealthy. It's just sort of like unhealthy for me because I, I worry about them a lot. I worry about Remy, you know, but I worry, I, I freak out, you know, if, if, if I leave the house and the dogs are here, you know, nobody's here to watch the dogs or something, stuff goes on in my head. Like what, if I had a child, a human child, I'd probably have to like dress it up in like hockey, you know, hockey equipment so that it didn't get hurt. You know what I'm saying? Like I'd I'd be I'd be flipped out about that too. But there's Solar. It's her birthday. Happy birthday, Solar. Thirty. She's one month old. One month old. Look at her. Solar was was is the only bird I know of in the world that was hatched using human warmth. 